Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I do car content, mostly car events and other things that have to do with my own cars or some of my friends' cars as well. But today, as you can see from the thumbnail, we are doing a review. The company Lingdu has been nice enough to send me this, the Lingdu D600. So yeah, I'm excited because this is actually one of the first times someone has sent me a dash cam to review. I've installed dash cams in pretty much all of the cars I've had, but lucky me, there is one car that we have that doesn't have have a dash cam but before we install it we'll do an unboxing see what's in there so here's the box there we are whoops that's upside down okay so we got on this side it's like the camera itself this is a yeah actually really nice packaging this right here is like it's like foam so it's really soft actually this whole thing is made out of like a thick foam that's really nice plastic you find uh, all electronics are usually wrapped in this this is actually really nice imagine this sticks on to your windscreen or windshield and then on the side you got sd card already there Woo, that's a win so sd card already there oh so this says rear okay so the rear camera doesn't come with it at least there is oh wait no i think i see it yeah so we're gonna have front and back cameras on there looks like oh yeah this moves around so you could you could adjust it so imagine this is on the windscreen you'll be able to adjust screen well, it looks like a screen here that probably gives you a bit of information a microphone as well so I'm wondering if you can maybe do like some commands on it. Auto. It also shows you there's like a light indicator for recording. And I believe there's an app you can use as well. Here you got your cables. This is a tool that you use to get it into the interior of the car. So that's nice that they added that in. I have a few of them already in the garage, but it's nice that they gave this just in case you're buying this and you don't have the tool to get this in between the slots. And I'll show you guys uh, just to get this inside like uh, your A pillar or in, in this case, I think because there is a rear camera, uh, we'll also get this in the, the top liner and some of the other pillars in the car as well. Just as advertised on the box right there on the D600, we have a rear camera. I don't know if you see that. That's a nice design, but we're going to take this off, of course. And this is going to be in the rear. So this is awesome. We're going to have, I thought we were only going to get a front camera uh, sent to us, but we have front and rear, which is really helpful uh, in case of an emergency or an accident. That's awesome. Plenty of cable to get connected to the side of the main dash cam, the, the front facing camera. Continuing on the box, they send you this film. This is actually pretty awesome because I have something similar on my Alfa Romeo. And it's basically a film that you stick on to your windscreen or windshield so that you're not sticking this directly onto your windscreen or windshield. You're, you're sort of connecting or <laughs> connecting. You're sticking this to this, if that makes sense. Well, not in the Ziploc bag. I'll take this out. Again, you'll see that when I do the, the install. And it looks like they send you some extra ones. You got your user manual. Shows you how to install. Shows you where they recommend placing it in the car as well. I like that. This is really clear. Yes, they also provide... Oh, this is nice. It's like a carbon fiber look. If you follow the channel, you know I like carbon fiber. And I know this is not real, but it's very nice that they send you this. This is really nice. Like I was saying, they have an app with a QR code that you could download the app. Also, like I was saying, really clear instructions on how to place it. It suggests that you place it here and put the charging wire through there. And then on the driver's side, you would go at the top left to go to your rear camera. It tells you what everything is. Look, it's even called a electrostatic film. So, I didn't know that what they were called and uh, oh i forgot to mention too along with the toolkit comes all these little cable clips all right so next up we go to the car we get this installed should be very simple and we get to test it out see how it works and also the app now i'll show you this before i install it is that this actually slides so imagine the camera is actually hooked on you can move the entire camera because this imagine this is still stuck this will come right off so you could actually uninstall it easily i think there's a second one inside the package because i saw one in there so this by the way <laughs> the trin trin is off she's gonna go in the ct yeah she, primarily she uses this car by the way uh, so she's using the ct while i install this of course there because there's two cameras there's two electrostatic films so the bigger one obviously for the front camera and the smaller one for the rear camera all right so this is where i have it at and I'm just gonna go up along here and there, down the pillar, probably then through here and to here. So that's where the pry tool comes in handy. We'll be able to shove that wire or cable out of view, out of sight. All right, back here on the driver's side, 
Look at that, that's very clean. I still have yet to see what it looks like. I'll check on the app in just a bit. Uh, once I've installed it, see the mirror. This is what the mirror would be like if it was usable for me. So, so for the information, still be able to see that, no problem. But again, I have to look at the app to see exactly what it looks like, because then I could still adjust uh, slightly down. Uh, very high uh, but I'm thinking it's probably gonna go something like that cable up there cleanly all through the pillars that was simple to do ultimately right there I could probably clean that up a little bit too okay for the rear because it is a hatch I think I may have to go through here uh, to get the cable on this side I'll let future germs worry about that near future but for the time being, yeah, the camera should be somewhere up here. All right, camera is up, cable is ready, and hopefully it's a good position. We'll figure it out. So now I'm just gonna run the cable from way over there all the way to back here. The cable they provided is more than enough to get through this SUV and clip that. All the excess wire is uh, in here uh, tied up. There's a little bit there too, but nothing too bad. Yeah, hard to tell, but it's around right there. All right, turn on the car. <laughs> All right. All right, we are connected to the app. This is what that looks like. And let's see. Okay, so that's my garage there. And all right, here we go. Switching the camera. We're upside down. <laughs> We're upside down. I wonder if that's... Oh, man, did I put the camera upside down? Oh boy. No, the camera is not upside down. Look, I have the, you can tell by the writing, it, it's correct. So I'm not sure why it's recording upside down. The good thing though is, or at least it's showing that it's upside down. But the good thing is that the, the camera does look perfectly centered. So that's the, that's the good news. Ah, I figured it out. I had uh, the rear as rotated and I didn't know what that meant. Uh, but now, yeah, it looks good. I think I would yeah, drive the car around and make sure this actually is good because, you know, yeah, obviously I see the neighbor's house, but still got to try it out uh, in real life driving. Like what I'm seeing, this is actually pretty wide in the front. And I think if anything were to happen, hopefully nothing ever does happen, but. But if something were to happen, I think this is sufficient. Um, the quality on the phone looks super clear. And it's a rainy day, so a little bit rainy. It's a, um, probably a little bit of condensation on the windshield as well. But we'll get that going. I don't see me having to adjust the front camera. I think I like this. I think I'll keep it this way. So, yep. you can see they have building a lot of new houses here in the neighborhood. Okay, we'll switch to the rear. Recording stopped. Okay, so we'll, we'll switch camera. So now it's the rear. Okay, I think with the I think with the rear, yeah, oh, let's see if I could clean some of this off because, yeah, again, rainy day, a little bit of condensation. But the rear looks good, too. I think if I were to adjust this, it might be uh, down a bit. But let me try to get behind some cars or something. You know, I'm not somewhere where there's much traffic, although I could probably get on the main street. Okay, here it comes. So in my rearview mirror, it appears to be a lot closer um, than it does in the camera. Now you see it on the camera. Okay, yeah, I think I think I have a lot of the a lot more of the sky than I do of the car right behind me. So I think yeah, I will adjust it a tiny bit, but down. But I don't think it needs much. And I think it's just really cool how you could just uh, go from front to back here on this app, just like that. So. Uh, I'll go in here. Sorry, sir, for 
switching lanes. So, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm trying, driving and uh, I'm, I'm, my hands are free, I swear. All right, so far, really like what I'm seeing. Super easy install. I'll kind of give my uh, sort of like, first, well, this is like my first reaction to how the camera works or cameras, I should say. So far, app is super easy to use. It installed right out of, um, I use Android, so it, it installed right out of the Play Store. So it didn't take me to like, I know sometimes like some, with some brands, especially if the brands are not from the States, you'll have to download from like a website. And sometimes your like phone provider or whatever won't like that. But this one is on the Play Store. And it's just a matter of basically hooking up to the Wi-Fi, putting in the password, and then that's it. It connects right away. Uh, one thing you got to make sure your rear view camera, rear view camera, yeah, your rear view camera is plugged in good. Like make sure it's really in there. It's almost like a, it's basically an auxiliary port uh, on on the end of the the front the front camera. So it's a tight fit on there, but yeah, as long as it's on there good, you have no issue. Um, at first when I, I installed it, I, I guess I didn't have it all the way snug, and then it did not recognize that there was. A rear uh, view camera so if you run across that issue where you think it's uh, the auxiliary is all the way in and it's not uh, just really make sure it's in there i mean it's snug for a reason right then you don't want this thing popping out while you're driving or whatever or or you know god forbid a, a car accident or something like that so it's in there it's in there really snug and nice and it is working and just to give you a look at what the camera is looking at look at the weather here in the bay area today it is gloomy it's about six o'clock in the month of april so sun won't go down until i think another hour or so so just to give you a gist of what the what it would look like on a clear day it would be uh, still very bright and so yeah the performance of the camera what i've seen so far or cameras i keep saying camera cameras uh, I think it's really good for this uh, overcast, this this uh, gloomy day, gloomy rainy day here in the Bay Area. So uh, it's performing well. I'm a, I'd imagine on a nice sunny day, even better. Of course, light cameras. Oh, speaking of the camera, I read on there that the camera has a f-stop of 1.8. So uh, if you're familiar with cameras, you know what that means. If you're not familiar with cameras, oh, I see my sister-in-law. She just drove by. She's dropping off egg sandwiches. We'll we'll get her in a little bit. The f 1.8 for my 16 millimeter. I have a 1.6, so that's what I first started recording with today. And I want to say my 50 millimeter is a 1.8, which is what this is. So, in the if you're into cameras, if you have especially if you have a prime lens, which this is, this is not a zoom lens. If you have a prime lens, that's what you want. You want uh, a 1.5, a 1.8 impressed with the fact that it's a, a tiny camera with the f-stop of 1.8 and that it's uh recording in 4k 1080p i believe is probably the rear then so because it said 4k 1080p so my assumption is the the front is 4k the rear is 1080p it's pretty good it's, it comes with a rear camera too i didn't know yeah look at this <laughs> the dinosaur delivery yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Although this is not the camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's connected. See? Oh, so there's a rear it. one and then there's a front one. Not was the suction easy? cup. Was it easy to install? Yeah. Everything is just plugging and then you just got to route the, all the wires. <laughs> you have to oh, hold your tail. Yeah. Whatever. You want to try. Look at this. What do they call it? Get egg sando? Yeah. So it's supposed to be like the one in Japan. Yeah. And it got delivered by a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> back in the garage okay so first impressions of the Lingdu excellent product I would say the pros the video quality the app the installation all those things are really good and there's some things I haven't tried yet obviously <laughs> like some things you don't want to try like when you get into an accident and you have to go back and look at it oh the fact that it came with an SD card that's a plus as well uh, so yeah all those things I like about it and also now I, it makes sense why they send you a couple of those static plastic things that I can't remember the name now, but so the first one, see how this one, okay, so this is, this is success, right? This is, this peels off. This was in, on top of, let's imagine like this one, it was like exactly like this. So this came off of the other plastic thing that went on to the windscreen, or I think this one is for the rear one. Uh, but the first one attempt, 
this little piece of white tape just started coming off of the cover. And at that point, it's pretty much impossible to uh, take off. I was even trying to use my fingernails, and I do have nails, trying to get off the bigger one that is for the windscreen. As you can see right here, a little bit adhesive left from the white tab, where the white tab just came right off of it. It was starting to come off of uh, the small one as well. So basically, I went one for two on both sizes, where the initial ones uh, didn't come off that well, and then the second ones did. So I was like, whoo! Because if I would have messed up all four, that, that, that would have been uh, pretty bad. I would have been still able to stick uh, the main piece to the windscreen, that, the part that's attached to the actual camera, and same with the, the rear one, but you don't want to do that because once it's on that glass, it's on there pretty good. At least with these static ones, it's, it's on this and not necessarily the windscreen or the glass in the back as well, if that makes sense. So that was the only thing that, like, yeah, it kind of was tricky on one of them. Uh, for each size, uh, but that the pro to that, or the silver lining, I should say, is that they sent two of each, and on the second try for each one, they worked like how they were supposed to. Almost like they know that maybe they're like at a fifty percent <laughs> like a uh, uh, success rate or something like that, or maybe it's just me. Maybe I just I'm not good at it, or I'm not good at it the first time each one. Whatever. I should also take this time to mention that the company Lingdo did not pay me for this. Um, they didn't tell me what to say about it. This is just my real uh, reaction, uh, first time reaction. So what I plan on doing, maybe a month after using Lingdo uh, and Trend using it as well, myself and Trend will be able to give uh, what we think about the Lingdo itself uh, after like, let's say a month or so. So I'll do that once we get to play with the functions a little bit more. And then God forbid we get into a car accident, but if we catch anything on video, something that like maybe we catch something else that happens, we could maybe show that as well. The other thing is that down in the description, there is also a link to get a discount on Lingdo. It says that the regular price is 170 for the Lingdo, which is already a really good price for two cameras, a rear and front obviously, and at 4K and all the other functions and features that it has. You click down in the description on the link that's down there. I clicked on it myself actually to see. It's going for 120. So you could get this for $120. So who is this for? Basically, I think in my opinion, if you are in an older car that doesn't need a reverse camera per se, although there, it showed like a reverse thing on it. I don't know how that works. So I'll have to check that out. But this is just my opinion. First um, impression of it is that this is for someone who just has like an older car, uh, obviously not a Tesla because Tesla and all these other cars have like a bunch of cameras already in them. Uh, this would be for someone with an older car that uh, wants not only a dash cam, but wants uh, a rear dash cam as well, but may already have reverse uh, cameras on their car. I think that's like that perfect spot for someone because uh, in my honest opinion, there might be other products for that one person or or consumer who needs a reverse camera as well. So some of these older cars that don't have reverse cameras, you might want to look for a different product uh, than this. But um, our car, perfect for this. You need a dash cam. You need something that's rear. You already have reverse. I think this is the one for you. And especially at this price. The ring camera that I bought, that thing... I think well over that price and the rear facing camera only faces the interior of the car it doesn't show you anything outside so if something were to happen behind you you have no footage with the ring well with this one which is priced way better uh, you get a much better product with a lot of good features sim card included some sim cards alone could go for that price and i'm not saying this is a uh, that type of sim card but point is you get a lot of bang for buck so yeah i would definitely recommend them and thank them uh, for sending this out because i will be leaving this in that car and i will be using it uh, trent and i both will be using it another video to come for it soon once i understand the features the functions this is just that uh, first reaction opening the box trying it out really quick and so far, so good. Really like what I got. Hit me down in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions about it. If you haven't done so, subscribe. I'll try to do some more reviews of other products as well. Hopefully, if there's anyone else watching and you want to send me something, we'll be more than happy to try it out as well. So I have hopefully another car, maybe two, coming. Did I say that too? Coming soon-ish. Uh, so, you know, maybe I'll need some more dash cams uh, or other products for cars anyways. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.